And as always, we begin with our world plate tectonic map. And unfortunately, we're kind of in the corner here in Southeast Asia. So it's kind of hard to tell, but essentially we have on one side, we have the orange plate colliding with the green plate. But then on the other side, the red plate is then colliding with the green plate. So here we have two convergent plate boundaries, very important, that help to define the region physically. What I've done here is I used a red line to showcase the convergent plate boundary between the Indo-Australian plate, so this that orange plate I was showing you beforehand, colliding with, from coming from the north, the Eurasian landmass, so mainland Southeast Asia and also uh, Borneo and the Malay Peninsula and Sumatra. So essentially you have this collision. If you notice, these arrows are sort of going in opposite directions as they collide with each other along that red line. We also have convergence on the other side of Southeast Asia, showcased with that orange line. And so once again, the Himalayans are essentially coming plowing into the Eurasian landmass, and what's doing is kind of forcing Southeast Asia kind of to go a little bit to the south. And so then on the other side, the Filipino plates then colliding with uh, the Eurasian plate forming right there along the side of the archipelago of the Philippines. And thus, subsequently, where we have convergent plate boundaries, we also have a lot of earthquakes. So this is an area part of what we call the Pacific Ring of Fire. This area of convergence that we see throughout much of the Pacific, kind of on the outer edge of the Pacific. And so in Southeast Asia, on both the convergent plate boundaries I mentioned, on the Indo-Australian plate convergent plate boundary and the Filipino plate convergent boundary, we see a lot of earthquakes. 